right, so let's take a look at this. Um, we have what we called it is called a polyhedron. Now, a polyhedron is any three-dimensional figure with faces that are polygons. So that means the edges are flat figures, such as triangles, rectangles, squares. It cannot be curved at all. So down here we have some examples and non-examples. So examples of polyhedrons. Um, here we have a prism, a rectangular prism. Uh, we have a pyramid. And then we have a hedron of some type. I didn't count the sides, so I don't know specifically. But notice with all of these, all of the faces are flat figures or polygons. Okay, These on this side are not polyhedrons. Notice they're, they have some type of a curved surface. They're not flat everywhere. Okay, With polyhedrons, one thing we like to identify is the faces, edges, and vertices. Now, the faces are the shapes, okay? The faces would be the polygons. Okay, so when we talk about this figure, notice the top here, if I were to shade it, okay, that is a square face, okay? The side here is also a face. We have a side on the left also that's a face, and then we have a back and a front, and then we have our bottom down here. So those are the faces. Again, the faces are the shapes that are on your figure. Um, let me erase real quick. All right. Next, <clears throat> we have our edges. Now, edges are the lines. Okay, the lines on the outside of those shapes. So this would be an edge. This would be an edge. Okay, the edges are the lines on your figure where the shapes come together. And finally, we have the vertex. A vertex is a point, and that's anywhere two lines intersect. So these would all be vertices is the plural for vertex. Okay, each of these is a vertex. Okay, and again, it's it's a point, it's an intersection, it's where um, uh, the lines come together. So those are the parts of our polyhedron. Now, <clears throat> specifically, we have a formula um, that allows us to relate faces, vertices, and edges. Um, if F is face, V is vertice, and E is edge, this formula works for every single polyhedron. I know that's kind of crazy, but it does. The number of faces plus the number of vertices minus the number of edges always equals two every single time. Let's try that out with our example we had before. So let's count each thing. How many faces are there? Well, there's a top. There's one, a bottom, two. There's a left side, three. A right side, four. A back, five. And then a front up here, six. So there are six faces on this polyhedron. Let me erase. Okay. Whoops, I just erased that in <laughs> my number. Okay, six faces. Now let's count the number of edges. So again, edges are the lines. So here's one, two, three, four. Those are all of our vertical lines. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then on the bottom, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There are 12 edges. And finally, how many vertexes do we have? So again, remember, those are the lines come together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So let's test our formula, see if it works. So it's supposed to be the number of faces, 6, plus the number of vertices, 8, minus the number of edges, 12 is supposed to equal 2. Is it equal to? Well, yeah, 6 plus 8 is 14, and 14 minus 12 is 2. So we verified it. It does work. Here's another example. Let's, it says to verify that Euler, I say Euler, I think I'm pronouncing his name wrong, um, works for this hexagonal pyramid. So it's a pyramid with a hexagon, or actually this is a pentagonal pyramid. That's the wrong word there because it has a pentagon on the bottom. Let's fix that. Pentagonal pyramid instead of hex, 
Okay. All right. So let's take a look. We need to find, in order to verify the formula, we need to find the number of faces, we need to find the number of vertices, and we need to find the number of edges. So faces, how many do we have? Um, well, we have the bottom here, one. We have one on the back here, two. One on the back here, three. Then we have the front left side, four. The front right side, five. And then the very front facing us, six. So we have six faces. How many edges do we have? Okay, remember, edges are the lines. I'm going to change my ink color real fast. I think I changed it to white. That's not going to work. To blue. Okay, edges are the lines. So let's count the lines. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more down the back, 10. Okay, so the number of edges is 10. You want to be careful as you're counting these. It's easy, easy to miss one. And finally, vertices. Vertices are the corners where they come together. So there's one, two, three, there's one in the back here, four, five, six, Okay, so let's try out our formula. We need to verify the formula. So the number of faces, 6, plus the number of vertices, 6, minus the number of edges, 10, should equal 2, does it? Well, 6 plus 6 is 12, and 12 minus 10 is 2. Yes, it does. It works.